What's up everyone? This is Meek and I'm going to be showing you how to have time in GarageBand iOS using all of the features that are already in GarageBand iOS. Okay, so I made a little loop. Alright, so that is the loop. I'm using Oceans and Space Lead from the expansion Watch the Sound. Alright, I'm loving all of these new expansions from GarageBand. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double tap on this on my loop and then go to edit. And here you can just manually quantize it before you add any halftime. Sounds pretty good. All right. This one is a little off this note right here. Um, I can fix it, but it don't really matter. This one came in a little late. Let me see. This is our first note. So, quantizing for the new people uh, who's new to production just means just to drag it um, to the marker on a grid where it's supposed to be. All right. And this is doing it manually, which I prefer, you know. Okay. So, after we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and mute this. After we've done that, we're going to go to this icon here, which is uh, the levels meter icon. And you're gonna to go to track settings and you're gonna to go to quantization. And you can pick however you want, but I'm gonna to go to straight. And let's say if we quantize it correctly, these will be eighth notes. So there'd be 18 notes, 18th, I mean, eighth notes all right but then you're going to go to one fourth and it's going to chop it in half all right because half timing if it was going to be eighth if it's eighth notes then half of eight would be four so eight all right, so I'm going to show you a little trick. All right, so we have time um, with another VST I have. Sometimes it lowers some of the notes. So to give it that real effect, I'm going to show you a little trick. So here... I have a single note, okay, and it is on the A. So I'm going to drag it to the A in a lower octave. I know it's A because F, G, A, all right? All right, and then here I have another single note, which is an F sharp. I'm going to lower it to the F sharp in the lower octave, all right? Another way to make this more real is to we're going to just go back to the edit and what I did was I drug our lower bass note I mean the, the note that we made lower I put it back to where it was I put both of the notes back to where it was okay so then I'm going to push done here after we've 
fix that. I'm going to go back to the levels meter icon. I'm going to go to track settings. I'm going to go to transposition. All right, put that back one fourth. I'm going to go to transposition and then I'm going to lower the octave to negative one. All right, and I was going to make this a separate video, but I had to put that in. And I hope you've learned something to make it even more real. All right, there's so many things that you can do with this. I can even go back to edit and I can actually put that I can even raise this pitch. You know what I'm saying? You can just do a lot with that. see how it's giving that dynamic so it's just so many tricks that you can do it's all about being creative lord that dog so me i have fun but i like i liked it like that that's cool all right, all residents know did, which really just put it back in the octave that it was at in the first place. All right, and so that's how you make a completely different melody using a melody that you already created. And that's how you do halftime, at least how I would do it. All right, so I hope you learned something dope. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and be kind to others. Thank you so much.